Hi guys! It's Jerry Bellini. <laughs> like you didn't know that. Welcome back to my channel, Recycle Parts for Art. Today's video is Tuesdays with Jerry, where I sit here and chat with you. And you know, I had an idea the other day because I love chatting with you and then I love reading your comments and I feel like we're chatting back and forth. I'm going to do a live one of these Tuesdays. Yeah, I think so. Instead of a video, I'm going to do a live. And this way we can talk back and forth. I think that will be super fun. And um, I think I'll do that maybe next week or the week after. No promises for sure. <laughs> because guess what? I started moving. Yes. Uh, not to say that I'm going to be living there anytime soon, but my art room is definitely uh, to a place where I can move things in. And I showed you a little um, studio tour on one of my videos recently. And, oh my gosh, you should see it now. It's uh, got so much stuff in it. I'm really excited. But what I do is, do you notice like all the stuff that's missing back there? It's all gone. So this is now the sorting table where I bring things and I sort. So um, what I'm doing is I'm packing boxes up and then we're bringing it to the house and then I'm unpacking them. So I spend a little time here doing the packing and then a little time over there unpacking. And I, oh my gosh, I love it. Um, it's a really great way to do things, I think, um, because it's not, um, well, it's just not all that packing and that pressure to to move out, you know? Like when you sell your house typically and you buy another house, there's a closing date and you have to be out by this date and you have to be in your new house by another date. The way Brian and I are doing it is so much more um, peaceful. Or I was gonna say relaxing, but <laughs> it's not relaxing. It's peaceful because there's no pressure you know, on either end. Of course, we do put the pressure on ourselves to be out, but, you know, it's coming along. And then what happens is it snowed, okay, the other day. When was it? What day is it? Today's Sunday uh, when I'm making the video. And it snowed Friday. That's what it was, Friday. Well, it was supposed to rain. And uh, Brian called it a nor'easter rain, but it was supposed to rain. So I went over to the house in the morning and I was working and all of a sudden I'm like, is that, are they snowflakes? <laughs> and before I knew it, these few little snowflakes turned into this whipping blizzard of all this snow coming down in a fury. I couldn't believe, <laughs> I couldn't believe it, it was that fast. So you know, I was already there. I have a, a little Kia Soul car and you forget about driving in the snow and that thing so Brian said well you're stuck here or I'll take you home but you know you're not driving the car so I stayed for a couple more hours and oh it was so nice. it was so peaceful you know looking out the window while I was working and watching all the snow come down I'm gonna really like living there yeah I think so I'm gonna really like it so I wanted to tell you about that so Brian owns um a, um, a snowplow business and so he you know didn't expect the snow we like I said we thought it was gonna rain and so he had to yeah the day <laughs> got shot he had to get the truck set up and put the plow on and whatever so I wound up uh, coming home early and um, then what happened because it was a nor'easter and the wind was blowing like crazy. All these pine trees in particular were falling down all over the place. I mean, it was like chaotic uh, because it was in the middle of the afternoon and like the kids were still in school and they had to be bused home. And by the time anybody realized, you know, that it was snowing, it was this much snow out there. It was a mess. Anyway, that's a big long story over the snow. So last week was not the most productive week for my poor husband and uh, he's stressing out about it now. But I said, you know what? We'll move when we move. We don't have a date and it's okay. It's all right. It'll happen when it happens. But I wanted to tell you I'm very happy about the progress in the art room and I'll take another video because guess what? We have internet over there. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot to tell you that. 
Friday we got internet. Friday morning before the snow came, we got internet. So I think I'll do, maybe I'll do a live over there. That Wouldn't that be fun? Yes, that was the happy clap. <laughs> so, all right. So that's what's new with the moving, uh, with the moving saga. And I wanted to tell you to change the subject from the moving saga to the scrap quilt that I showed you guys. It was little strips of fabric. I don't know if you haven't seen it, go to my Facebook page and you know what, I'll insert a picture of it here in this video. So I promised you guys I was going to make a tutorial and I'm still going to make a tutorial. It's just like I got kind of crazy busy with the packing and unpacking, but I kept a bag of fabric. There's a bag of strips sitting over here on the floor. My sewing machine is still here. It's right here. Well, I have a couple sewing machines, so one of them is still here. And I'm going to try to make that tutorial for you um, soon. I, I'm not going to make any promises at this point, but I am going to make it for you. I promise I will make it. And one of my viewers uh, that saw the quilt said, wouldn't that be a great, that would be a great quilt to make um, out of my grandfather's things, I, I think clothes, grandfather's clothes, I think she said. And I went, why didn't I think of that? Oh my gosh, because I still have my mom's clothes and I want to do something special with it. So I think I invited my children to, after the art room is set up, to come over and we would use, take my mom's clothes and we would rip them up and we would all make a quilt. And I thought, that, I thought that was a great idea. So thank you to uh, the person who mentioned doing something with her grandfather's clothes. Um, so I don't know if we'll make little wall hangings or if we'll make full-size quilts. Um, my mom, she really did pare down the last few years of her life. She didn't have a lot of clothes. Um, all her clothes, her winter clothes and her summer clothes, fit in one closet that was not very big. She had a couple of uh, coats up, upstairs in her house, but uh, she, didn't, she didn't want to burden her family with having to get rid of all this stuff. So as she was getting older, she got rid of more and more stuff. Talking about my mom, while we're on the subject of my mom, this was one of her many, see it, this was one of her many sewing baskets, and it's a Longenberger basket. She uh, had quite a few sewing baskets, as we all do. Well, don't we? <laughs> I have them. Anyway, I found this little crazy, this was my, what's going on with my hair. I found this little crazy bobby pin in there. It was like really a weird bobby pin. I think you're supposed to glue something here. Uh, I'm sure you are. And put, put it in your hair. So uh, I was just cleaning out her um, sewing basket. I was organizing it. And before I knew it, I had this thing in my hair. So I'm going to glue something to it. What do you think? <laughs> Oh no, you know what I did? I think I put it over here. Yeah, I pulled my bangs back and put it. Anyway, I'm getting sick of my hair. Um, I haven't had time to get a haircut. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I like it. I don't know, see now I really wrecked it. I don't know um, if I'm enjoying the gray. To be honest with you, maybe it's just because I'm really tired. Um, but it's making me feel old, so. <laughs> You never know. You might see me. I might come back on camera and I might have red hair or some crazy color. We'll see. But right now I'm too tired to even color it if I decide to do that. So maybe it's just a really bright uh, bandana. Anyhow, so uh, let's see. What else did I want to tell you about? So my studio's getting... Oh, I'm de-stashing, ladies and gents, if there's any men watching. And I'm doing a really good job of it. I'm going to insert a picture of the pile that's on the floor that um, when I do my uh, shop updates, uh, I do those on Thursdays, I'm going to start putting some of the things that I want to get rid of uh, from my art room in, in the shop updates. In fact, I did last week. I put a bunch of yarn and I put um, these int very interesting uh, rubber stamp sets uh, very, they were vintage. They were from the like I think they were from the twenties. Um, I didn't have a box that went with them, uh, but they were really cool. I'm looking around because I found another set, <laughs> and this set I don't know. It, it's got to be in here somewhere. Oh yeah, I see it. It's it's over there. 
Uh, this set has a box, so I'm going to do that in my um, shop update this week. I'm going to put that set in there. And they're, um, they're very old. It's the alphabet and letters. So it's letters. The alphabet is letters, Jerry. It's the alphabet and the numbers, and there's a bunch of other um, random little things. But I have so much. I have so much stuff. So I am going to get rid of them. I'm going to sell them. So you'll look for that. So that's my D stash. Um, I just posted some... Uh, glory be, I still can't find my words. These things. Uh, ink. <laughs> <laughs> the, the stamp pads I just posted on Instagram. I don't know why I did that. I saw the picture in my um, in my in my computer, and I said, "Cherry, post these on Instagram. Somebody might buy them." I posted last week. I posted some uh, fabric that I had marbled. It's kind of like hand dyeing. Um, it's, it was hand dyed and this marbled whatever and I put that on Instagram and I said for sale and somebody actually bought it. I'm really happy about that because it went to a very good home and uh, I think I made a new friend in the process. So uh, look for some of my um, de-stashing. Yeah, can't keep everything. Um, all right, so uh, let's see what else. Okay. So, <laughs> I hope you get a kick out of this. This is Rose, okay, and um, she's a little head, and she's been in our family and in my life for a very, very long time. My daughter and my mother, I think, named her. Um, I've had this thing forever. My kids will probably remember it. I'm sure they will remember it. I know my youngest one will. Rose. So, I don't know. <laughs> she was in a in a cabinet and I came across her, isn't she cute? And this hat is a hat that my friend uh, that was in um, a bad car accident a couple years ago, um, she had given me this and boy do I miss her. So I said Rose is going to wear the hat and uh, she's going to the new studio. Yeah, so there you go Rose, you can sit there and listen to the video. Listen to my rambling. So I wanted to share another project that I found while I was packing. And I totally forgot about this one. And it is a crochet project. And before I hold it up, I want to tell you that there's absolutely no time for mixed media. Um, actually, no <laughs> more than time. No flat surface that doesn't have you know, more than a couple of inches of free space. So I decided to just acceptance, you know, acceptance. And this will pass and things will get moved and I'll be able to get back to that. But for the time being, I'm doing crocheting because you, you can do that here up in the air, <laughs> right? You don't need a flat surface. So I found this beautiful, look at this, this is gorgeous. This beautiful work in progress. Now you see it's kind of a triangle. Uh, it's missing the point down at the bottom. So there's pieces missing, but it's just a little wrap that you, am I here? Can you see it? I'm looking through the thing. That you can kind of just put over your shoulders. You know, and it is made out of this, I wish you could feel it. It's made out of this amazing silk wool blend. Oh my gosh, and I don't have a tag here on any of the balls. I have the, the box is sitting here. It's like in an oversized shoe box. And anyway, it's lovely. So I remembered when I saw it, I went, oh my gosh, Jerry, you are never going to be able to finish that because this is this thing that I saw on Pinterest. Y'all know Pinterest. And I said, oh my gosh, I love that. I love that shawl. I have to find the pattern for that. Well, I went down the rabbit hole and eventually saw that the only way to get the pattern was to buy the book. Okay, so I did buy the book, but guess what? I don't know if you noticed that. It's Japanese. I had to buy the book from Japan. <laughs> Talk about uh, dedication um, to, to when you want to do something. So when I got the book, 
I also realized that there aren't, there's no English in it, okay, and there's no real instructions in it. There's just these graphs, okay, so these graphs. Well, at the back of the book, it if, let me see if I can make this, uh, make this make any sense. So at the back of the book, it gives you instructions, but you see, like, it's like a key. So you see the, um, the, the uh, circle, the oval thing up there? That means a certain thing. And down here, there's another, like, a, a design. That means something else. So you have to follow... Uh, all those, oh look at this, okay, so see, you'll see this kind of a mark here, and then you'll, you'll know when you see that in the pattern that you have to do that stitch. <laughs> Are you glazing over? Because I couldn't believe I figured out how to do, how to read that. So I am able to read these crazy graph patterns now, but it's been years, like I said, since I did this, so I thought, well, I better not pick it back up while I'm moving because I'm not thinking clearly. But anyway, isn't it pretty? I thought I thought you'd like seeing that. And I found another crochet um, project that is so much easier to do. It's just little granny squares. Yeah. So I had an idea with these and I'm using um, Lamb's, Lamb's Pride if you know what that is. It's, it's worsted. It's 85% uh, wool and 15% mohair. And I really like it a lot. And I used to sell it in my store and I have a huge, huge, huge bin of it. So I'll probably put that in my Etsy shop at some point. But anyway, I made, let me hold this, let me hold the basket up so you can see the colors because it's really pretty. Isn't, aren't the colors pretty? So I made all these squares, and my idea, my thought for this, this was just like a crazy thought. I saw some girl one day, um, I was out shopping, and she had a vest on, and it was very long. It came to her knees, and it was all granny squares, <laughs> and they were small granny squares. So I thought, you know, I'm going to make that. I can do that. I don't have a pattern. I'm just going to wing it. So that's what this, that's what's in this thing. And there's quite a lot of squares done. See, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. There's a whole another stack over here. And don't you love these colors? Aren't these colors beautiful? I just love them. Oh yeah. Anyhow, so that's about what I'm doing. That's about what I'm doing right now. Just fooling around with this and that. One more thing to show you. And then I'll let you be on your way. Isn't this pretty? I'm showing you the collar. Yeah, it's a Victorian collar, and it's it's an old piece, and I found it um, in a box. Yeah, I just thought it was so pretty, and I thought I'll put it on this dress form uh, to show it to you, because otherwise you wouldn't get the uh, full. It's cute, right? Anyway, guys, I love chatting with you, and I can't wait to do the live where we can, um, you know, chat. And I thought what I would do, I would do it at the house. And you know my little thank you tags that I showed you, I think, last week or the week before? I thought I would just make them. I would make them, and you could see how I make them, and we can talk and get to know one another, you know, even better. So um, thank you for sticking with me, and I hope you have a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And I will see you again next week. And I'll let you know when we're going to do that live. Till then, big kisses. See you later.